a heartiest good morning to everyone today i ventures in today's session i have prepared a audio lecture for visually impaired student on bio inorganic chemistry which was taken from the book pradeep's inorganic chemistry volume 3 dr k k bhasin so now let's start the bio inorganic chemistry inorganic chemistry deals primarily with salts and complex metal ions whereas bio inorganic chemistry deals majorly with inorganic chemistry when applied to biological systems thus bio inorganic chemistry can be regarded as the branch of science that relates inorganic chemistry with life processes by recognizing the role of metal ion in the normal growth and function of biological processes in brief bio inorganic chemistry highlights role of metal ion in biology bio inorganic chemistry is a rap rapidly developing area of chemistry because of its importance in biological system the essential biological roles of a few elements have been known for many years this chapter will focus on the important role of metals non metals and their compounds in biological processes so 5.1 essential and trace elements we think that the chemistry of life is solely composed of organic molecules it is a wrong concept in fact there is a long list of inorganic compounds that are essential to living systems for example the skeletal and integumental materials outer covering in higher animals is composed majorly of inorganic materials and the lifetime consumption of oxygen by a living entity is a major fraction of its material needs in addition water oxygen calcium phosphate and calcium carbonate are the major inorganic constituents of living matters in terms of quantity table 5.1 lists the abundance of elements in earth crust and in oceans compared with some abundance in typical mammals of all the known elements it is about 30 elements that have been recognized as essential and indispensable to life of the 30 elements 50 of them are metals the essential elements are needed for the growth and normal function of the animals and plants absence of these elements result in severe malfunctioning of the living organisms thus an element may be considered essential when its insufficient intake produces an impairment of normal function and its restoration relieves the impaired function some of these elements are required in bulk or macroscopic amount to all forms of life and are classified as bulk elements some of the bulk elements are required for structural purposes while the rest are used as minerals in other words in the absence of essential elements the organisms can neither grow nor complete its full life cycle the essential elements can be further subdivided into two groups bulk elements essential elements that are formed in higher concentration second trace elements essential elements that are present in low concentration bulk quantity of group 1 and 2 metal are required mainly to balance the electrical charges associated with the negative charges macromolecules in the cell and also to maintain the osmotic inside the cell the re reaction flask of a living organism is the cell in addition the transition elements and the heavier member of the p group also play an important role in bio inorganic chemistry some of the inorganic elements are required in small quantities and are classified as traces or ultra trace elements these different types of essential elements present in living system are classified in table 5.2 it is important to note that not all the element displayed in the table 5.2 are required by all the plants and animals for example sodium ion na positive 
is of special importance to higher animals. It is, however, not essential to many bacteria and plants. The ultra trace element which boron, aluminium and vanadium are needed by some higher plants. Molybdenum is essential to only those organisms which derive their nitrogen from inorganic sources. Selenium is an essential micronutrient for mammalian species but proves to be toxic at higher levels. Selenium deficiency in humans result is a degenerative condition of heart tissues known as Cation disease, named, named after a country in China in which it was endemic because of extremely low selenium levels in the soil coupled with a population that entirely dependent upon locally grown grains. It is important to note that even some essential elements may prove to be toxic if consumed in larger quantity. Now, 5.2 Essential Bulk Elements Sodium and Potassium We have learned that both sodium and potassium are essential for life processes. For example, we need at least 1 gram of sodium ion per day in our diet. However, because of our habits to adding salts on food, some people consume as many as 5 times more than required. However, intake of potassium is not a problem. Instead, potassium deficiency is more common. We must include potassium-rich foods such as banana and coffee in our diet. In inorganic chemistry, we always think of the similarity between sodium and potassium. However, in biology, it is difference between sodium and potassium which plays important role. Cells pumps out sodium ions of the cytoplasm whereas the cell pumps the potassium ions inside. This ion transport is sometimes called a sodium pump and it involves both the active explosion of Na positive ion and the active take up of K positive. It is the difference in the total alkali metal ion concentration inside and outside the cells that produces an electrical potential across the cell membrane which is important for the functioning of nerve and muscle cells. The transport of ions require energy and this is obtained by the hydrolysis of ATP. It is estimated that hydrolysis of one ATP molecule to ADP provides enough energy to move 3 Na positive ions out of the cell and 2 K positive and 1 S positive ion back into the cell. Now calcium and magnesium. Both calcium and magnesium are present in body fluids. Mg2 positive ions are concentrated in the animal cells and Ca2 positive ions are concentrated outside the cell. This is similar to the presence of K positive ion inside the cell whereas Na positive ion outside the cell. Ca2 positive ion present in the external skeleton of creatures such as shellfish and corals. The material used in calcium carbonate. Creatures with interior skeletons such as mammals and reptiles use calcium hydroxide phosphate and the enamel on teeth as flora peptide. Both these common compounds are highly insoluble. Important minerals used in biological materials are listed in table 5.4. Ca2 positive ion are important in blood clotting and are required to trigger the contraction of muscles and those that control the beating of the heart. In fact, some type of muscle cramps can be prevented by increasing the intake of calcium ions. A decrease of Ca2 positive content of blood either due to dietary deficiency or from as an inefficiency of parathyroid hormone may lead to a disease called tetany. On the other hand, an increase in the concentration of Ca2 positive ion in the blood may lead to calcification of several internal organisms.
the absorption of dietary ca2 positive ion and or mg2 positive ion from the intestinal tract may be prevented by the simultaneous ingestion of organic acid example oxalic acid with which it combines to form an insoluble salt it means that the availability of dietary ca2 positive ion is greatly affected by the other constituent of the diet both ca2 positive and mg2 positive ion excreted mainly via the large intestine instead of magnesium because of its high charge radius ratio and consequent strong hydration as in the mg s206 two positive plays important biological roles that are different from those of calcium it acts as a counter ion to the negative charge groups in nucleotides and polynucleotides one of the most common nucleotides is atp adenosine triphosphate which serves as the fundamental energy source for the living cells atp is thus known as the energy rich molecules and is used to derive most of the chemical reaction of the cell mg2 positive form a complex with atp it has been observed that old transphosphate correlation reaction involving atp proceed smoothly in the presence of mg2 positive atp is an anhydride of phosphoric acid the hydrolysis of anhydride is a very favorable reaction thus the hydrolysis of atp to adp shown in the equation below liberates 30.7 kJ per mole of the energy at ph7 the living system thus utilizes this energy to drive energy requiring biochemical processes it has been observed experimentally that the activating effect of mg2 positive ion transphosphonylation may be duplicated in vitro by mn second ca2 positive co2 positive zinc2 positive or nickel2 positive the most important aspect of the biochemistry of the magnesium in its role in photosynthesis magnesium containing chlorophyll using energy from the sun converts carbon dioxide and water into sugar and oxygen without the oxygen from the chlorophyll reaction this planet would still be surrounded by a dense layer of carbon dioxide in addition without the sugar energy source it would have been difficulty for the life to progress from plants to animals it is important to note that magnesium ion sits in the middle of the chlorophyll molecule and holds the molecule in a specific configuration magnesium has only one possible oxidation number that is plus 2 as a result the electron transfer reaction involved in photosynthesis can proceed without interference from the metal ion now phosphate Phosphorus is an important element for life processes. For example, free hydrogen phosphate PO4-3 negative and dihydrogen phosphate H2PO4 negative ions are involved in blood buffering system. Phosphate is the linking unit in the sugar ester of DNA, where DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid and RNA ribonucleic acid. the phosphate units make up part of atp the essential energy storage unit in the living organisms bone is a phosphate mineral the commonly called mineral apatite is calcium hydroxide phosphate the presence of the phosphorus in bones and its function in regulation of ph of blood constitute important features of phosphates it is important to mention that the normal formation of bones depends upon the relative amount of dietary phosphorus and calcium in addition to vitamin d now 5.3 essential trace elements among the known trace element the three most prominent biological active metals are iron copper and zinc the remaining trace elements are used in a very small amount than 10 g in adult human and are referred as ultra trace element the trace element are known to play important role as metal oleo enzymes 
Iron is essential in small amounts for both plants and animals. However, like copper and selenium, it is toxic when used in larger quantities. Biological iron is the most important transition element and is found in greatest abundance in biological systems in the form of porphyrin complex or hemes such as hemoglobin and myoglobin. Porphyrins are macrocyclic ligands and are derivative of porphyrin. A human body weighing about 70 kg contains about 4.3 gram of iron. Nearly 70% of this iron is present in hemoglobin and about 3% in myoglobin. The remaining 23% of the body iron is present as ferritin. Ferritin is present in spleen, liver and bone marrow. It consists of a shell of linked amino acid called epferritin surrounding a core of an iron third oxohydroxophosphate. The core is a cluster of iron third ion, oxide ion, hydroxide ions and phosphate ions with the composition. It is very large containing up to 4500 iron ions. With its hydrophilic coatings, this large aggregate is water soluble and is concentrated in the spleen, liver and bone marrow. Apoferritin protein can be prepared from ferritin by reduction of ferric ions of ferrous ions at pH 4.5 followed by the removal of Fe2 positive by dialysis. The formula weight of apoferritin is nearly 46,500. Ferritin can also be synthesized in the laboratory with properties similar to natural ferritin. It can be prepared by treating crystalline apoferritin with an inorganic Fe second salt in the presence of oxygen. Ferritin is probably formed into vivo by an anogolous process. The various steps involved in the pathway of Fe2 positive from the food stuff to hemoglobin and to ferritin involves the following processes. The Fe2 positive of the bound dietary material is reduced to Fe2 positive in gastrointestinal tract. After absorption into the cells of intestinal mucosa, Fe2 positive is, is incorporated with ferritin as Fe3 positive. The Fe3 is mucosa is also converted to Fe3 positive plasma. Now fourth point, plasma Fe3 positive in the equilibrium with iron in the liver, spleen and bone marrow. The following changes that occur are summarized in the scheme 5.1. Scheme 5.1 Pathway of iron third from the food stuff to homoglobin and to ferritin. Now, zinc. Among the trace essential elements, zinc is second only to iron in importance. Zinc is essential to all organisms and play an important biological role in the enzyme system of animals and plants. Humans contains about 2 gram of zinc and is one of the most important and crucial elements in our diet. Deficiencies of zinc are not life-threatening but contribute to fatigue, lethargy and related symptoms. Zinc to second positive ion is a soft receptor compared to other divalent ions with, with respect to Mg positive, calcium 2 positive and manganese 2 positive and act as a stronger lavish acid towards many biomolecules. Compared to ZN2 positive ion, Cu2 positive ion is also soft but has an additional intermediary oxidation state that is Cu positive. Different oxidation states of copper may allow different redox reaction and complicate its behavior. The complexes of zinc ion are much more labile than the corresponding complexes Mg2 positive, Nickel2 positive and Manganese2 positive. This facilitates the role of zinc ion in agen. Since ZN2 positive ion is completely resistant to redox changes at biological potential, its role cannot be affected by changing the redox potential in the organisms. A number of enzymes containing zinc ion are known. The most important of all the enzymes is the carbonic anhydrase. It is present in red blood cells and is involved in the respiration. It speeds up the absorption of carbon dioxide by red blood cells in muscles 
and other tissues. On the other hand, in the reverse reaction, it involves the release of CO2 in the lungs. Their reaction is pH independent. CO2 positive in aqueous plus H2O in the presence of carbonic or anhydrase, we get H2CO3 in aqueous. Thus, the zinc containing enzyme, carbonic anhydrase catalyst, and otherwise slow cationic carbonic acid carbon dioxide equilibrium reaction. The carbonic anhydrase has a common four coordinated environment around zinc 2 positive ion in which three of the ligands are imidazole nitrogens of 3 histidine and the fourth is a water molecule or hydroxide ion as shown below. A water molecule coordinated to a zinc ion has a pK near 7 and thus the role of zinc is to reduce the basicity of hydroxide ion such that a high effective concentration of hydroxide can exist is in an approximately neutral medium. Another important enzyme containing zinc 2 positive ion is carboxypeptidase. It is present in the pancreatic juice and is primarily involved in the digestion of proteins by animals and protein metabolism in plants and animals. This enzyme catalyzes the hydrolysis of terminal peptide linked at the carboxyl end of the peptide chain. The enzyme is selective and works only when the R group in the terminal amino acid is aromatic or a branched aliphatic chain and has the L configuration. Now, copper. Copper is the third most biologically important transition metal after iron and zinc. Human beings need around 8 gram of copper daily. A deficiency of copper then the optimum value result in the inability of animals to use iron stored in the liver. As a result, the animals suffer from anemia. The copper is bound to proteins in the body either as meta oloprotons or as enzymes. Excess of copper is highly poisonous particularly to fish. This is the reason it is always advised not to throw copper coins in fish pools or, or poisonous particularly to fish. This is the reason it is always advised not to throw copper coins in fish pools for good luck. Human beings can excrete any excess of copper but a biochemical defect can result in the copper accumulation in the liver, kidneys and brain. The illness caused by excess of copper is called Wilson disease. It is a hereditary shortage of caruplasmin causing copper accumulation in the liver, kidneys and brain. Patients suffering from Wilson disease are caused by administrating ethylene dimethyl tetrateric acid added EDTA which forms soluble copper complex. The soluble copper complex can be excreted harmlessly through urine. At the same time, many other essential metals involved in the other enzymatic reaction form EDTA complex and are excreted. Thus, the EDTA treatment can upset many unwanted enzyme reaction. As a result, utmost care should be taken in monitoring Wilson disease. Hemocyanin is a copper containing protein which is important as an oxygen carrier in some invertebrate animals. Despite its name, it is known hem protein. It is found in the blood of snails, crabs, lobsters, octopus and scorpions. The oxygenated hemocyanins are blue colored unlike human blood and have one dioxygen molecule attached to two copper anions. Deoxygenated hemocyanin contains Cu first and is also blue. Now selenium. Selenium is essential to health. All classes of organisms metabolize selenium. In human and other mammals, circus disease arise from either excessive or insufficient dietary selenium. The toxic effects of selenium have long been known, particularly for grazing animals. In soils with high selenium content, some plants accumulate large amount of selenium as methyl selenocysteine in order to keep selenium away from their metabolic machinery. 
एनिमल दैट ग्रेज दी सेलेनियम एकोमलेटिंग प्लांट्स डेवलप सेवर टॉक्सिक रिएक्शन इंक्लूडिंग ब्लाइंड स्टैगर्स एंड एल्कली डिसीज सेलेनियम पॉइजनिंग इन ह्यूमन्स इज रेयर बट हैज अकर्ड वेयर माइंस हैव कोज सेलेनियम टू बी लीज फ्रॉम द सोयल इन टू ड्रिंकिंग वाटर सप्लाइज लॉस ऑफ हेयर एंड नेल्स इज सीन इन केस ऑफ ह्यूमन सेलेनियम टॉक्सिकिटी फॉलोड बाय एनीमिया एंड चोंडिस ऑल दो सेलेनियम इज टॉक्सिक एट हाई लेवल सेलेनियम इज एन एसेंशियल माइक्रो न्यूट्रियट फॉर मेमोलियन स्पीसीज सेलेनियम डिफिशेंसी इन ह्यूमन रिजल्ट इन डीजनरेट कंडीशन ऑफ द हर्ट टिश्यू नोन एज केशन डिसीज डिस डिसीज इज नेम्ड आफ्टर ए कंट्री इन चाइना द एक्सेप्टेड मिनिमम डेली रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ सेलेनियम फॉर अडल्ट ह्यूमन इज सेवेंटी मिली माइक्रोग्राम्स मैनी टाइप ऑफ फूड प्रोवाइड सेलेनियम पर्टिकली सी फूड मीट्स ग्रेन्स एंड ऑन द ओनियन फैमिली मैमल्स एंड द बर्ड्स रिक्वायर सेलेनियम फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एंजाइम ग्लूकाथायोन पैरोक्सीडेज हाइड्रोजन पैरोक्सीडेज एंड ऑर्गेनिक पैरोक्सीडेट्स विच कोज ऑक्सीडेटिव डैमेज टू सेलर कंपोनेंट्स एंड आर एंजाइमेटिकली डिस्ट्रॉयड बाय दिस सेलिनो प्रोटीन सच एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट एक्टिविटी सजेस्ट दैट ग्लूथायोन पैरोक्सीडाइज एंड देयर फॉर सेलिनियम प्रोटेक्ट अगेंस्ट ऑक्सीडेशन इंड्यूस्ड कैंसर now chromium and molybdenum trace amounts of chromium and molybdenum are necessary in diet of mammals chromium third and insulin are both involved in maintaining the correct level of glucose from the blood as a fast as normally and leads to diabetes molybdenum is the most biologically important member of chromium family it is the heaviest element to have a wide range of functions in living organisms the most important component of molybdenum enzymes is nitrogenase thus nitrogenase contains two proteins that is molybdoferrodoxin and azoferrodoxin molybdoferrodoxin air air sensitive and brown colored species containing two molybdenum atoms 24 to 36 fe atom 24 to 36 s atom together with a protein it has a molecular weight of about 2 lakh 25000 azoferrodoxin is yellow air sensitive it is a derivative of phoridoxin it has a molecular weight in the range of 50000 to 70000 the enzyme nitrogenase occurs in bacteria and reduces the inert dinitrogen of the atmosphere to the ammonium ion This reaction is used in the synthesis of protein by the plants. Let us have an idea of the importance of this enzyme by the typical example. The amount of dinitrogen fixed biologically is estimated to be 175 million tons per year compared with the total of 110 million tons of NSD produced by the Haber-Bosch process and distillation of coal. Now, question number 1 arises here. Why is a metal as rare as molybdenum so biologically important? The molybdate ion has an excess aqueous solubility at near neutral pH value. The ion has a negative charge making it more suitable for different environment that are the cation of period 4 transition metals. Third point The element has a wide range of oxidation state whose redox potential overlap with those of biological system being a soft lewis acid molybdenum show a strong bonding preference for the soft lewis base sulfide another important component of these enzymes now cadmium cadmium is a toxic element that is present in our food stuff and is normally ingested at levels that are close to the maximum safe level kidney is the organ most susceptible to cadmium cadmium ingested 200 ppm cause severe damage cigarette smokers absorb significant level of cadmium from tobacco smoke exposure to cadmium more from industrial source is a major concern use of nickel cadmium battery is becoming a major waste disposal problem many reported companies now accept return of use nickel cadmium battery so that cadmium metal can be safely recycled
now non metals the non metal among the essential elements are hydrogen carbon oxygen nitrogen phosphorus sulfur chlorine iodine majority of these are needed in trace amount except carbon h n and o which are abundantly available and constitute most of the chemicals in the living system now phosphorus phosphorus is an essential element for life it constitute an important part of energy rich molecule known as atp it is also an important component of a bone as apatite partial formation of fluorite strengthens the structure of the teeth and makes it less soluble in the acid found form fermenting organic material in the teeth iodine nearly 75% of the iodine present in the human body is located at one place the thyroid gland it is used in the synthesis of hormones thyroxine and triiodide thionine these hormones are essentially for growth for the regulation of neuromuscular functioning and for the maintenance of male and female reproductive functions now chloride cl negative the chloride ion has a vital role in the ion balance in our bodies it does not appear to play an active role but simply acts to balance the positive ions of na and k it is a major anion found inside and outside the cell deficiency of chloride ion in fans lead to impair growth nearly 30 elements are now recognized as essential elements for at least some form of life it includes most of the elements through atomic number 35 except beryllium aluminum scandium titanium gallium and germanium along with noble gases molybdenum and iodine are also essential it is interesting to note that all elements appreciably abundant in the human body are also abundant in sea water suggesting without doubt that our family tree has roots in the sea now metallo porphyrins porphyrins constitute an important class of bioinorganic compound in which a metal ion is surrounded by four nitrogen of a porphyrin porphyrins are macrocyclic tetradentate ligand made up of four pyrrole rings links together from methane bridges as shown in figure 5.1 this tetradentate ligand has a conjugated double bonded system with four nitrogen donor sites two of the four nitrogen are tertiary nitrogen while the remaining two nitrogen are secondary nitrogen the tertiary nitrogen atoms form coordinate bond by donating a pair of electron each to the metal ion by a coordinate bond as shown by the arrowhead the two other secondary nitrogen lose a proton each and form a covalent bond with the metal ion as shown thus a porphyrin ring serve as tetradentate di negative ligand as a result the di positive cations like iron 2 positive nickel 2 positive magnesium 2 will positive will form a neutral complex with porphyrin when the four pyrrole rings of porphyrin are substituted by organic groups other than hydrogen it is called a porphyrin the porphyrin are macrocyclic tetrapyrrole system with conjugated double bonds together with various groups substituted to the periphery of the ring the substituent attached to the ring are usually organic groups with electron withdrawing or electron raising characteristics the complexes formed by the porphyrins with the metal ions are called metapol metallo porphyrins these are biologically important compounds and play a very important role in the animal and plant kingdom a metal ion of appropriate size sitting at the center of the porphyrin rings will be surrounded by four nitrogen of pyrroles and forming a sphere planar geometry it means that a metal ion and the four nitrogen lie in the same plane as shown in figure 5.1 however when the size of the metal ion is smaller than ideal the ring will be relocated to accommodate precisely the metal ion in this way the ring will either readjust to distort itself in order to accommodate the metal ion on the other hand if the size of the metal ion is larger than the ideal the 
transition metal ion cannot fit in the hole and stays out of the plane of four nitrogen atom it means that the metal ion sits above the plane of four nitrogen atoms and acquire a square pyramidal geometry a group of related compounds the phthalocyanins are isoelectronic with the porphyrins these compounds are of interest because of their intensely colored metal complex which are of utmost commercial application in dyes and pigment the size of the hole in these phthalocyanins rings is about 0.1 angstrom smaller than the porphyrins as a result of nitrogen atom compared with carbon the covalent radii of carbon 0.77 angstrom and nitrogen 0.75 angstrom two of the most met important metal complexes of porphyrins are chlorophyll and hem which are being discussed chlorophyll is a magnesium complex of porphyrin which plays an important role in photosynthesis photosynthesis is a remarkable redox reaction in nature that converts water and carbon dioxide into sugar and oxygen in the presence of sunlight this process is primarily source of food that we eat and molecular oxygen that we breathe the function of the chlorophyll molecules is to absorb photons in the red part of the visible spectrum and pass this energy of excitation to other species in the reaction chain the ability to absorb the light is due to the conjugated polyene structure of the porphyrin ring system the role of magnesium is to make the entire molecule rigid so that the energy absorbed is not easily lost there are a number of similar but not identical chlorophyll molecules it is important to note that in chlorophyll a, the basic porphyrin system has been modified in two ways in pyrrole ring 4 one of the double bond has been transhydrogenated to form a magnesium dihydride porphyrin complex in addition a cyclopentanone ring has been fused to the side of pyrrole ring 3 as shown in figure 5.3 5. 3 figure chlorophyll a in brief absorption of sunlight by chlorophyll is the first step in the conversion of sunlight into unable energy by plant it will not be out of place to say that chlorophyll are nature solar energy collectors hence in an iron second porphyrin which is present in hemoglobin and myoglobin which is being discussed now 5.5 topic hemoglobin and myoglobin molecular oxygen plays an important role in the biological system because of its important in respiration the formation of oxygen we have already learned in nature involves a number of reactions such as redox reaction electron transfer atom transfer and photochemical reaction a number of protein are known that bind and transfer oxygen to different extent such protein that bind oxygen are called oxygen carriers the most important and well documented protein that bind and transfer oxygen are hemoglobin and myoglobin hemoglobin and myoglobin are very closely related to each other hemoglobin in a larger protein with a molecular mass of 64500 and consists of four subunits each subunit is made up of a heme group associated with a protein called the globin It is important to recall that each heme group is composed of an Fe2 positive ion surrounded by four nitrogen of a porphyrin ligand. Hemoglobin is a large intracellular protein that is responsible for the red color of the blood cells. The basic function of hemoglobin and globin are the following. First, hemoglobin pick up oxygen in the lungs and transport it to the rest of the body. Myoglobin accepts oxygen from the hemoglobin in the muscles and stores it until needed for the energetic processes. Deoxygenated hemoglobin uses some of its amino acid to fix up CO2 and then transport CO2 back to the lungs. Oxygen carriers perform the function of acquiring O2 from the atmosphere, transporting it through the circulatory system of the organisms. and delivering 
it to the location where it is used. They all bind O2 rapidly and reversibly according to the equation 5.1. Equation 5.1 represents that protein plus oxygen, protein and oxygen. The equilibrium must be largely to the right at the oxygen concentration available at the pickup location. It is important to note that the oxygen carriers interact strongly with oxygen to bind it. However, the carriers must not undergo irreversible oxidation in the process. In brief, hemoglobin pick up oxygen in the lungs and transport it to the site of the use inside the muscle cells. This oxygen is transferred to the myoglobin which store it until required for metabolic action in which O2 is reduced to CO2. Deoxygenated hemoglobin then transport CO2 back to the lung. Now, structure of hemoglobin and myoglobin. We have already mentioned that the structure of hemoglobin and myoglobin are very closely related to each other. Hemoglobin is a larger protein and consists of four subunits. Each subunit contains one heme group associated with protein globin as shown in figure 5.4. The iron is held in position by coordination with the nitrogen of heme and an imidazole of globin complex. This complex is reversibly with oxygen as shown in figure 5.4b. Thus hemoglobin is the oxygen carrier of blood and the red color of blood is due to the oxygenated hemoglobin. It is important to note that the four site units are similar but not identical. Two subunits form alpha chains of 141 amino acid while the other two subunits form beta chain of 146 amino acid. These chains are coiled together to give a three-dimensional network. A schematic structure of hemoglobin showing the relationship among the four subunits of tetramer is shown in figure 5.5. Now structure of myoglobin. Myoglobin is a small protein compared to hemoglobin. It consists of a single heme group embedded in a polypeptide chain called globin. The peptide chain consists of 150 to 160 amino acid folded about the single heme group as shown in figure 5.6. The heterocyclic ring system of heme consists of porphyrin containing pyrrole groups labeled as a, B, C, D links by methane bridges. The iron atom in the oxidation state to Fe second present at the center of the heme is bonded by four nitrogen of the porifying system together with one nitrogen atom of the imidazole side chain of histidine residue. It is this polypeptide chain that plays an important role in the biological fixation of molecular dioxygen. A simple outline of the structure of myoglobin showing heme group embedded in the polypeptide chain is shown in figure 5.6. In figure 5.6, an outline of the structure of myoglobin, the tubular structure represents the polypeptide. It is important to note that both hemoglobin and myoglobin have five coordinated iron atoms. The oxygen state of iron in Hb and Mb is plus two. Iron atom is bonded to four nitrogen atom form pyrrole rings and the fifth nitrogen form the protein chain. In both the compounds, the sixth position is occupied is weakly bonded to water. Hemoglobin and myoglobin in such molecules are named as deoxyhemoglobin and deoxy hemoglobin respectively. However, when molecular oxygen occupies the sixth position which is trans to histidine chain, then the molecules are named oxyhemoglobin and oxymyoglobin respectively. A myoglobin polypeptide is comprised of eight separate right-handed alpha helices designated from A to H that are connected by short known helical region. Role of hemoglobin and myoglobin. Hemoglobin and myoglobin play crucial role in transporting dioxygen, O2 from lungs to tissues and CO2 from tissues to lungs. 
द फंक्शन ऑफ हीमोग्लोबिन इज टू बाइंड ऑक्सीजन एट द हाई ऑक्सीजन पार्शियल प्रेशर फाउंड इन द लंग्स टिश्यू टू फॉर्म हीमोग्लोबिन विद ऑक्सीजन हीमोग्लोबिन कैरीज दिस ऑक्सीजन विदाउट लॉस थ्रू द ब्लड एंड देन रिलीज इट टू मायोग्लोबिन इन अदर वर्ड द डिसोशिएटेड ऑक्सीजन फॉर्म हीमोग्लोबिन डिफ्यूजेस टू द टिश्यूज वेयर मायोग्लोबिन पिक्स इट अप एंड स्टोर्स अंटिल इट इज नीडेड इट मीन्स दैट मायोग्लोबिन हैज ए ग्रेटर ऑक्सीजन एफिनिटी देन हीमोग्लोबिन एट लो पार्शल प्रेशर द हीमोग्लोबिन एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड आर देन रिटर्न टू द लंग्स वेयर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज एक्सहेल्ड द सिक्वेंस ऑफ स्टेप्स कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज शोन इन द फिगर फाइव पॉइंट टू इट इज क्लियर फ्रॉम द स्कीम फाइव पॉइंट टू दैट बोथ हिमोग्लोबिन एंड मायोग्लोबिन प्ले साइक्लिक रोल इन ट्रांसपोर्टिंग ओ टू फ्रॉम द लंग्स टू द टिश्यूज एंड सी ओ टू फ्रॉम द टिश्यूज एंड टू द लंग्स दिस सी ओ टू इज कैरीड आउट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एस सी ओ थ्री नेगेटिव केयरफुल एनालिसिस ऑफ द स्कीम सजेट दैट द पार्शल प्रेशर ऑफ ओ टू इज हाई इन द लंग्स दिस इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ हिमोग्लोबिन विद ऑक्सीजन However, the low partial pressure of O2 in the tissues is responsible for the dissociating of hemoglobin with O2. The dissociated oxygen O2 diffuses into the tissues and oxidizes and metabolic fuels of CO2 and H2O. The carbon dioxide involved is exhaled in lungs. Now, oxidation and oxygenation of hemoglobin and myoglobin. The heme group consists of iron 2 positive ion embedded in a porphyrin ligand the f2 positive ion has six coordination sites the porphyrin ligands take up only four of the six sites leaving two free bonding sites and opposite side of metal ion in an aqueous solution containing oxygen a free or naked heme group binds to oxygen molecule in an irreversible manner with the oxidation of iron 2 positive to iron 3 negative this oxidation of iron from f2 positive to f3 positive destroys the oxygen binding activity of iron the unproductivity oxidation in a biological system is potentially fatal the irreversible oxidation of free heme group in the presence of oxygen involves a series of dimerization containing two Fe three positive ion, Fe three ions, Fe three O, Fe three as shown in Figure five point seven. When oxygen bonds at the sixth position of the iron opposite to the histidine, the Fe three positive two positive ion contracts and moves into the plane of the ring. In other words. F2 positive ion becomes coplanar this happens because the moment of the oxygen gets coordinated to F2 positive the ligand field becomes strong which result in spin pairing you recall that spin pairing always lead to low spin complexes in this case the electronic configuration of iron changes to T2g and the resulting complex is diamagnetic The Fe and bond distance is approximately 200 per meter, which matches with the size of the hole of the porphyrin system as shown in Figure 5.9. It is important to note that the binding of the molecular dioxygen to the sixth position of the iron atom in the deoxyhemoglobin or deoxymyoglobin releases the stain in five coordinated system. This release in the stain is compensated by the loss of spin pairing energy in going from five coordinated deoxy hemoglobin deoxy myoglobin to six coordinated oxy hemoglobin myoglobin respectively it means that the coordination of o2 will cause fe atom to drop into the plane of the heme group The shrinkage in the size of the Fe2 positive ion and dropping into the plane of the porphyrin rings is shown in Figure 5.10. In other words, the decreased size of Fe2 positive ion is sensed by the imidazole group of the histidine residue, which behaves like a spring. In doing so, 
एफ ए टू पॉजिटिव आयन मूव द हिस्टोडीन मोलिकुल एंड कोज इज कॉन्फॉर्मेशनल चेंजेस इन द ग्लोबिंग चेन सिंस दिस चेन इज हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डेड टू द आउटर थ्री यूनिट्स इट मीन्स दैट वन आयरन बाइंड एंड ऑक्सीजन मोलिकुल द मोलिकुलर शेप चेंजेस टू मेक द बाइंडिंग ऑफ एडिशनल ऑक्सीजन मोलिकुल ईजियर सिंस Each hem group in hemoglobin can bind one oxygen molecule. The process continues till it carries a maximum of four molecules of oxygen. This phenomena is called cooperative effect and autocatalytic nature of O2 binding. Now, 5.6 myoglobin and hemoglobin functions and cooperativity. The function of the hemoglobin is to bind molecular oxygen O2 at high oxygen partial pressure. found in lung tissues and thus carry it without loss through the blood to the tissues where myoglobin picks up o2 from hemoglobin the sequence indicate that myoglobin has a greater o2 affinity than hemoglobin at low partial pressure of oxygen now nitrogen fixation there is a large amount of n2 gas 78% in the atmosphere however plants are not able to utilize this n2 because of this relativity and reactive nature the unreactive nature of dinitrogen is asked to vary high bond strength due to the presence of triple bond between the two nitrogen atom soil that a very fertile contains nitrogen in the form of nitrates nitrites ammonium salts or urea All these compounds are absorbed from the soil water through the roots of the plants. The continuous uptake of nitrogen by plants reduces the fertility of the soil. In order to fix nitrogen, that is to make nitrogen reactive towards other substances to produce nitrogen compound. This process of conversion of atmospheric nitrogen into useful compounds such as ammonia is called nitrogen fixation in 1965 kaiser sen of a canadian research student at the university of toronto was studying the reaction of ruthenium chloride with hydrogen hydrate he synthesized a brown compound by combining ruthenium 3 chloride with hydrogen hydrate but was unable to explain the chemical composition of compound form one fine day During a discussion with another chemist he got an idea that his brown compound may contain dinitrogen he reported this excited news to his supervisor Baron Allen the manuscript was rejected because dinitrogen is known as to inert as noble gases however Senaf and Allen again appealed to the editors of the journal The editor sent the revised manuscript to 16 other Allen again appealed to the editor of the journal The world of the inorganic chemistry was changed suggesting that dinitrogen is no longer an reactivity and first compound of dinitrogen was born In the first dinitrogen dinitrogen compound of the dinitrogen can be readily prepared from aqueous ruthenium third chloride using hydrogen hydrate in aqueous solution the pentamine dinitrogen ruthenium cation was formed and could be isolated in a variety of salts rucl3 plus n2h4 in aqueous we get ru ns3 hol5 n2 two positive today almost all the transition metals elements are known to give dinitrogen complex and more than 200 such compounds are well characterized several new method have low been found for the preparation of the complexes containing pentamine ruthenium second contain a direct method involving dinitrogen gas involves the prior reduction of the pentamine ruthenium salt with zinc amalgam Another general method for the preparation of metal complexes of dinitrogen involves the reduction of metal complexes especially of molybdenum and tungsten in the presence of suitable stable coligands another n2 gas there are several example of we have seen in this 
डाइ नाइट्रोजन कैन कोऑर्डिनेट टू द मेटल्स इन फोर वे शोन बिलो हावर एंड ऑन मोड्स आर वेल नोन एज एग्जाम्पलीफाइड इन स्ट्रक्चर वन एंड टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द स्टेबल डाइनाइट्रोजन कॉम्प्लेक्स इज लेट टू स्टडी विद अनदर ट्रांजिशन मेटल्स कॉम्प्लेक्स विद टाइटेनियम आर मोस्ट प्रोमाइसिंग इट हैज बीन फाउंड दैट टाइटेनियम सेकेंड एल्कोक्साइड्स कैन बी इजली रिड्यूसड विद द सब्सिक्वेंट रिलीज ऑफ अमोनिया और हाइड्रोजीन ए कंप्लीट साइकिल ऑफ रिएक्शन डिपिक्टिंग द फिक्सिंग ऑफ एटमोस्फेरिक डाइनाइट्रोजन टू अमोनिया इज रिपोर्टेड बिलो An X-ray study of this complex indicates that Ru and N linkage is linear. It is a related compound where the co-ligand is triphenylphosphine. The molecular structure is shown in Figure 5.11. The Cu and N linkage is almost linear with the angle of 178 degree. The bonding in N2 complex is resemble that. of carbon monoxide complex is back bonding of electron density from the metal into pi anti bonding orbital is clearly reflected in the shortening of co and bonds which is closer to cobalt co bond than co ns3 bond in amine complexes the nn bond length longer than found in molecular nitrogen suggesting a weakening of nitrogen nitrogen triple bond form the electron density in the anti bonding orbital of nitrogen over several hundred compounds of molecular nitrogen with transition metals are known today this new discovery of stable metal di nitrogen complexes led to extensively investigation of the possibility of fixation of nitrogen in other words the major interest lies in the converting n2 complexes with appropriate reducing reagent to convert n2 into ammonia under ambient condition di nitrogen transition metal complexes mole of wolframium and tungsten have been shown to protonate the coordinated di nitrogen into diazine isodiazine hydrazido and hydrazine for example trans m2 twice dp2 hx in the presence of 20 degree celsius we get this compound where m is equal to molybdenum w is equal to tungsten x is equal to halide and dp is diphenyl phosphoethene the reduced process n2h2 has been assigned the diazine structure hnnh it act as two electron donor all attempt to reduce n2h2 further to n2h4 or ns3 by using stronger reducing reagent have not met with success on the other hand di nitrogen metal complexes with monodentate li coligands have successfully been reduced to give ammonia for example the complex of cis here associated with monodentate coligand dimethylphenylphosphine on treating with h2so4 in the presence of a base naoh followed by distillation afforded high yields of ammonia with traces of hydrogen where m is equal to molybdenum and tungsten in case of tungsten complex the yield of ammonia involved has been found to be quantitative whereas only 66% ammonia is evolved in case of the corresponding molybdenum complexes in case h2so4 is replaced by hydrogen halide the intermediate isodiazine complex is formed which upon subsequent reaction with h2so4 in meoh followed by distillation afford ammonia as shown above a similar reaction of trans with hcl in methanol liberates ammonia directly without the formation of any isodiazine complexes it is interesting to note that in case of solvent is changed from meos to ch2cl2 hydrazide is formed as shown below the chemistry of molybdenum and tungsten has been extensively studied a reasonable mechanism of these reaction is outlined in the scheme where p is equal to me p phenyl to me and x is halide and 
A careful inspection of the reaction cited above reveals that the fixation of N2 to NS3 in these stable N2 metal complexes involves the replacement of co-ligands such as tetrahydrophosphine with anion ligand such as halide or sulfate. This process promotes electron transfer from metal to N2 or dinitrogen hydride and finally to ammonia. In order to fix nitrogen, that is, to make nitrogen react with other substances, several nitrogen fixing bacteria are known that are able to convert dinitrogen N2 to NS3 under mild condition, that is, under ambient temperature and pressure. This venture is highly profitable in view of the huge store of nitrogen available in the atmosphere that can be put to use for chemical use both for agriculture and industrial purposes. The, this is the overview summary for the review. This is all about bio-inorganic chemistry from my side. Thank you. Have a nice day.